Hi everyone, so today we're going to be looking at the Surface RT versus today's modern Surface Pro 4. So this is the first first of its kind that came out back in 2012 and this is the latest version that came out just recently in uh, October of 2015. So the RT, this was launched back in October 26, 2012. It comes with RT, the uh, Windows RT, the OS. RT stands for real time and it pretty much means that the processor that's in this, it's an NVIDIA uh, quad core Tegra 3 processor. Um, what I want to mention about that is it's an ARM processor, it's not an Intel processor, uh, so it cannot run like all the traditional Windows programs. Now the ARM processor it was built on a technology whereby it is developed for mobile devices whereby it does not use a lot of battery power. It actually sips the battery power, it uses it very, very sparingly. And that's the technology in the ARM processor that's designed for mobile devices. So that's what was built into the RT and that was the concept back then in 2012. On the downside of that, yeah. Um, I mean, on the upside of that, yeah, it, it is very good on battery power, but on the downside of it, because it's not using Intel uh, chip technology, it cannot run all the traditional Windows apps. When comparing the keyboard from the RT to that of our Surface Pro 4, we're actually looking at first generation Surface versus the latest generation. And off the bat, they've made a lot of improvements. Uh, first off, uh, you know, yeah, the RT has a smaller keyboard. The keys are, you know, they're along the plane and they're very close together. And another point to note is, the trackpad is a small trackpad compared to the Pro 4 and it actually has a cheap grainy plastic feel to it so when you're sliding your fingers along it uh, you, have, there, you feel some resistance and friction there and when you press the button on the uh, when you press the trackpad the button does feel a little bit clunky you have to put a lot of effort to press the button however on your you know Surface Pro 4 this this the, the feel of your finger on the trackpad it's glides it just glides it's like Teflon but it's actually a glass surface that they put on this another thing to note the trackpad is much larger and you know the button actually presses even easier on the trackpad so it's you know easier 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 uh, way to press what also is important is that you know on the RT it flops around on your lap this this part here is very very flimsy but on the uh, Pro 4 they actually have this lip that this connects along the bottom of your, your tablet to give you a more rigid, stable feel. So we can put this on your lap and you can use your, your, your Surface Pro 4. Another thing to note as well is that the Pro 4's keyboard is backlit and the keys are more spaced out when compared to that on the RT. So you can actually see the keys better in the dark. A, because it's backlit and B, because the keys are spread out a bit more. The RT, you're going to be fumbling because there's no backlit function and the keys are scrunched together. The Surface Pro 4, on the other hand, this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Pro. Um, and of course it has, it, you have three flavors. You have the Intel M3 processor. You can also get this with the uh, Intel i5 or the high-end Intel i7 processor. So this is true a true Windows OS. It can run all the traditional Windows programs. This is truly a, you know, a, a laptop, a Windows laptop replacement. Now the RT screen size is a 10.6 inch screen. Um, it has five point multi-touch technology. Um, and the resolution on this, it's, uh, you know, has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Um, and it has 1366 times 768 pixels on the screen, which equates to about 148 pixels per inch. The Surface Pro 4, however, this has a large 12.3 inch screen. Um, and it has 10 point multi-touch technology and when it comes to pixels, the figures are amazing. I mean, 2736 times 1824 pixels. You're talking about 267 pixels per inch, which is even more so what you find on the iPad Pro. I think it's the iPad Pro, it's about 264, I think, roughly around there. Uh, so that's impressive. From a dimensions perspective, you're looking at you know 10.81 times 6.79, uh, times a thickness of 0.35 of an inch on the Windows RT tablet. On the Surface Pro 4, you're looking at 11.5 inches across, 7.93 inches long, and 0.33 inches thin. So it's actually a bit thinner uh, in terms of thickness than the RT, 
but from you know length by height but perspective as you can see it's obviously much larger uh, so on the side of the RT you have uh, uh, you know you have your USB 2.0 port on the side of the I had to plug in my uh, uh, Surface Pro 4 because the battery had died on me so anyway but you can see here it has a port your USB 3.0 port is over here on the RT your USB 2.0 ports there they both have charging ports on the bottom and uh, one port to point to note, the plugs are different. So if you, you know, you can never by mistake plug the uh, charger for your RT and your uh, Pro 4 because the plugs are, the plugs are different, right? Um, now on the Pro 4, there's also another port along the top uh, and that is your, your um, mini display port. Uh, on the RT, uh, there's a HD video out port, right? Um, what else? Yes. What I want to mention, so the RT, you can only adjust this at one angle. This doesn't go any other way. It, that's the only angle you get. But on the Pro 4, you can adjust this to quite a few different angles within the, within the range of motion, and it will stick. So you can have it here, you can have it there, you can have it there. You know, there's a lot more fun, uh, you know, functionality there in that. And I believe it's a patented technology because I've been stress testing this this hinge, and it works well. It doesn't it doesn't you know it hasn't broken yet. So both the Pro 4 and RT do have memory expansion uh, for an extra a micro SD card. Uh, it's a SDXC card, and they both are located in the same area. So on the Pro on the RT it's right here on the on the side on the inside on the flap here right there is where you put your your card. And the same thing goes for the Pro 4, I believe. Yeah, it goes in right there as well. All right, so they both have that memory expansion. Now, the RT unfortunately does not come with a pen. However, the Pro 4 does, and it sticks nicely on the side. Um, what I like about the pen is that it has a lot of functionality. It has this magnetic strip, and it has a little button at the bottom of the strip. And uh, at the top, there's a kind of razor, and it's a, it feels like a really razor. And you can actually turn it upside down, and you can erase things off of your screen. Uh, you can just press it once, and you can summon one note. You can press it twice, um, and I believe it takes a screenshot of what's on the screen. And if you hold it down, uh, you can summon Cortana, and then you can give your orders. For those of you who are not familiar with Cortana, Cortana is like the Windows version of uh, Apple's Siri. Okay. Now, looking at the, the surface, uh, the surface covers, um, the the RT doesn't have a backlit cover. Uh, another thing to note is that the trackpad is a small, uh, it's a small trackpad, and it actually feels grainy and, and very resistive to touch when you're pressing it, when you're sliding your finger along it. On the Surface Pro 4, it has a very lovely glossy Teflon feel. I believe it's actually a glass uh, surface coating, um, and it's way larger than what you can see on the RT. Um, so that's a good thing there for the Pro 4. Uh, another thing is the keyboard is actually a bit smaller and the keys are scrunched together on the RT, but on the Pro 4 uh, they're spaced out and uh, you know they, 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 the, the keys are backlit as well. So you can use this in the dark, this one you have to fumble for the keys. Uh, also what I want to show is that these keys are all in the same plane so it you know it may be a little difficult to navigate your way around the keys if you're not a professional typer. This one, the keys are actually uh, protrude above the plane, so they, they, they have a three-dimensional feel to them, and you know you have a more of a real keyboard experience. And now, you know, one of Microsoft's goals is to really make this replace a laptop. And as the word states, laptop means, you know, it can sit in your lap and you can use it like a computer. Okay, so one of the things about the RT in the early design is that this actually flops, as you can see, it's very floppy. So the, 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 when you put this on your lap, because it's very floppy, it's not gonna feel stable on your lap, and it's gonna fall, it may fall off, right? So what they've done on the Pro 4, they've actually made this lip along here that sticks along the bottom of your, your, your screen, like that, and it makes it more rigid and more stable. So it can actually feel like a real, you know, traditional laptop on your lap, right? Now if you look at the back, they both have the Windows logo along the bottom. Um, the difference is that you know the RT it's a black background and a, uh, a gray window. You can, barely, you can barely see the logo there. And on the Pro 4 it's a nice silver background and it has that nice uh, 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 metallic uh, lo Windows logo there.
So they both have power buttons along the top. The R keys power button is here, the Service Pro 4 button is here. Now the Pro 4, they have their volume rocker key right here. However, on the uh, on this uh, Pro on the R key, the volume key is actually on the side here. Uh, so when it comes to um, the, the Pro 4, uh, they come in three, three flavors. You can get the uh, Intel M3, uh, the Intel i5, and the Intel i7 flavors. Um, and that's the sixth generation uh, versions of the Intel chips in here. Um, and you can get the uh, four gigabyte, eight gigabyte, or 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and then there's solid state memory inside here. Uh, you can get, you can get a, 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512, or even a one terabyte. Um, SSD um, storage in the Pro 4. Uh, on the RT, on the other hand, um, you get uh, two flavors. You can get, well, you get two gigabytes of RAM built in, and you can get a 32 gigabyte or the 64 gigabyte um, uh, SSD storage in this as well. Both of them uh, support Bluetooth 4.0 um, and Wi-Fi 802.11 A, B, G, and N. The Pro 4, on the other hand, also has um, it supports 802.11 AC, uh, the RT does not. The Pro 4 as well has built-in security chip, it's called the TPM chip, um, to give it an extra security. And what's good about the Pro 4 as well, it has this pixel sense technology, so it can actually detect 1024 levels of pressure. So when you're using your pen, when you're writing on the Surface Pro 4, when you press hard on the pen, the line gets thicker. Um, of course, the RT, this being the very first generation, didn't have that technology. Uh, the RT weighs a mere 1.7, 1. sorry, the, the RT weighs a mere 1.5 pounds. The Service Pro 4, uh, the, M the Intel M3 uh, version of this weighs um, about 1.69 pounds. And then the i5 and i7 models um, weigh 1.73 pounds. Um, the Pro 4, Microsoft states you can get nine, up to nine hours of video uh, playback on this on a single charge. Uh, the uh, RT, uh, this is normally used you can get about eight hours. Um, and there are many sensors on these things. On the RT, uh, you have like the ambient light sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, mag, uh, a magnetometer. And on the uh, Pro 4, you get the ambient light sensor, the accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer as well. Now the micro SD card that goes in the RT, you can get go up to 64 gigabytes of storage, while on here you can put up to uh, a micro SD card uh, storage up to 128 gigabytes. So the RT's front-facing camera, it's a 3.5 megapixel camera. Uh, the rear camera is a uh, 5 megapixel. Our Pro 4 front-facing camera obviously is much better than the RT's. It's a, a 5 megapixel uh, front-facing camera and the rear camera is an 8 megapixel camera. Now, this gives you 720p HD video. This one, of course, 1080p HD. Pro 4 was launched on October 26, 2015, and the very first generation of Surface, the Surface RT, uh, is the uh, uh, Windows RT, uh, this uh, was launched in October 26, 2012, so three years ago. So three years of evolution, you've gone from the RT to the Pro 4. Now, funny enough, I mean, there's three years of separates these two, uh, but you know what? You could still buy the RT today if you look around uh, online and whatnot. Um, so depending on your taste and your budget, you know, uh, I honestly would recommend going with the Pro 4, mainly because it has the Intel chip technology and it's true Windows, a true Windows platform, meaning that you can run pretty much any Windows uh, app that you would normally run on your desktop PC on the Pro 4. This because of the uh, ARM uh, processor uh, designed for like mobile technology, uh, you're limited in what apps you can run. Uh, but because it's ARM, you know, you get um, better, better battery life. Although funny enough, uh, on the Pro 4, you get up to nine hours of video playback. Uh, and on this, I guess because it's older technology, you get about eight hours of normal usage.